Every man on earth, including you, was built to overcome, to subdue, to have dominion. As you are listening to the sound of my voice, you are built, you are created, you are designed to win. You are designed to subdue situations and circumstances. You are built to overcome problems. You are created to rule your world. It is improper and out of balance for you to be under any stress that controls your life, that makes your life miserable. It is contrary to the will of God for any problem to put you down. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga as usual. The God of all flesh, your God and my God, who is also our beloved Father, put a word in my mouth this morning to speak to you, to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you. And this morning, as you listen to the sound of my voice, the King of glory will lift you up and bless you. God will show you the wonders of his power that he embedded in you when you were created. God will show you the glory of his majesty that he breathed onto you, that gives you the ability to subdue any contrary situation in life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Today I still want to talk to you about the power within you. When you are created, just like every other man, everything that you need to make a success of your life was put inside you. You are created and designed to win. Just right inside your body are spiritual and physical energy that have creative ability to self-heal your body. There is a power inside us that if we give that power a chance in our life, it, it has the ability to heal us. Healing of any type takes place on the inside. The forces of healing, you know, are rejuvenated from the inside of a man. You have power to be healed of any sickness and disease. That power is inside you. You have power to overcome any problem that may face you. That power is inside you. You are born with that power. It's an inherent power. It's not a power you go looking for around. It's inside you. You see? That's why the Bible says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is in you. He said, you have got little children and you have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. There is a certain power inside you. We fail, not because we don't have the power inside us, but because we are not aware of that power. We are not conscious of that power. We are not making use of that power. The power to succeed and become rich is inside us. The power to overcome problems is inside us. The power to live a peaceful life in our family is inside us. The power to train our children so that they can become great children in future is inside us. The power to live in harmony and love with our wives, with our husband, is inside us. The power to leave that habit. Maybe you are smoking or you are drinking heavily and it seems as if you cannot leave that thing. That thing has mastered your life. That thing has become second God. The power to defeat that thing is inside you. You can quit smoking. You can quit excessive alcohol drinking. You can quit it. You can quit humanizing. That is going after too many women or too many men. You can quit that wrong habit. 
There is no habit that you cannot conquer. You are not built to be under any habit. You are not built to be defeated by any power in this world. It is illegal for anything to dominate you. Anytime anything dominates you, it gets to God's nerve. God is angry. Because that's not the way you are made. The reason why God will punish sinners is that sinners have got power to overcome sin, but they relinquish that power to sin. And that's why we will be punished. Do you know why we'll be punished? Do you think it's just because we are sinning? No, it's not because we are sinning. It's because we've got power to overcome, but we relinquish that power. We let that thing overcome us, even though we can overcome that thing. That's why we will be punished in heaven when we miss it. Because we have got power, you see, to do things. Look at that parable that our Lord Jesus Christ gave of the talent. He gave somebody five talent, another person two talent. The last one, he gave one talent. The one with five talent traded and get more five talent. The one with two talent traded and get two more talents. But the one with one talent hid it and did not trade with it. And so he was punished, not because he was not given one talent or because he was given one talent. He was punished because he did not trade with that one talent and gain. He's got power. That power is one. He didn't make use of that one power. He's got talent. That talent is one. He did not make use of that one talent. And that's the only reason why he was punished. You have power to defeat that situation. You have power to overcome that problem. That power is inside you. And that power is activated when you pray. That power is activated when you call the name of Jesus. That power is activated when you meditate on the word of God. That power is activated when you help other people. That power is activated when you give. That power is activated when you know that you know that your God is with you and he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. That power is activated when you try to do that thing that looks impossible. That power is activated when you're there to do great things. This is the truth of the word of God. I may not quote scriptures to you this morning. But this is the essence of the word of God. Everything I have said is in the Bible. You were created to win. Think about it. I want to thank all our partners. God is using you mightily. May God bless you and continue to increase you on every side. And again, I want to thank all of you who God is using for us in one way or the other. And if you are receiving this for the first time, you love this message, you want me to send this to you on a daily basis, just save my number. My number is plus two seven seven four zero three zero two three eight one. Save it, go to your WhatsApp and send me a message to add you. Just say, add me. And if you are interested in being our partner, just send me a message, say, partner. And I will show you how you can do that. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. Uh, This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, Springstown, Johannesburg, South Africa, signing out this morning and saying to you, as usual, be blessed and remain blessed.